Hello everyone, my name is Queen Blessing Abigasin, popularly known as Black Queen. This evening, I just want to quickly touch a topic. I actually made this video, but I don't know what happened. Talking for 18 minutes and the video just crashed. So it's kind of giving me a lot of headache and I'm so tired. I'm just leaving the Army Kantu Men 9 Brigade, Nigerian Army. Today is the Awasa and um, I was one of the speakers for the children's um, segment where we did the at book kc um talking about child molestation and how to prevent them anyway let me quickly talk about this so somebody contacted me from diaspora a man um he's been married to this woman for a couple of years now they have three children and um he moved to diaspora and when he left it wasn't easy for him there so he decided that the wife should join him so the wife kind of know exactly how things work there so when she came she knows how to make hair and everything because he couldn't he couldn't get a job the wife couldn't get a job you know how it is you have to first of all learn their language get documents and all of that before you can get a job so the wife now started making hair while when the wife started making hair he started mingling with women different women and her attitude character everything started changing and mm -hmm. that the man said that it was hell for him because you know how it is when some of these women will start teaching you bad bad things and all of that and all of that so i mean um the man said that things became so difficult for him but well he managed the relationship and then one day that the woman said he wanted to go back to the nigeria and she came back to nigeria and that he has been sending money that sometimes he wouldn't send all the ends for that whole month because he just you know does minimal job it's not like he's having a job because of no document issue he said that one of those times the wife encouraged him to get married you know do this contract marriage with anyone who has documents out there and you know how these people in that's where i understand what i'm talking about they do it all the time and um he did the contract marriage married the woman real marriage but you know how it is you just pay them and you guys just pose that you're married in the eyes of the so he married this lady and um you know he got documents he could you know started working and he was sending money to this woman in nigeria and taking care of the children paying school fees pay the rent and all of that and he said that you know um after a while that that marriage um you know expired the contract expired and he decided to move out of that country to another country but that woman decided not to go with her so he had to now go there and start struggling all over again things almost like starting from square one okay so um bottom line is the real reason why he contacted me because he's now depressed and he's already having blood related issues and the reason why he contacted me was you know to talk to me to see how i can talk him out of his problem and he said that one of the reasons was because the wife started schooling he didn't know that the wife had gone back to the university so it's like all the money he was sending was always not enough because she was paying university fee with this money but he didn't know he just found out and that is so painful that he found out on facebook that the wife had graduated from the university uh, what's off is that she actually went back to university with her father's name that's her own father's son name instead of her husband's name you know when a woman marries the woman becomes you know um the husband's wife and you know now now bears the husband's name so moving on from that point on you now start using your husband's name on everything so he was wondering why the wife would go back to school not tell him and still not even use his name as you know her last name and so he was worried about that and he said he found that on facebook and he was shocked and that well uh, that is one of the problems he is having and then the wife is always not around at home so he cannot even talk to the children through the wife's phone and so he had to get a phone for the children you know so he can always you know contact them but that the wife has also collected the phone from the children because he said that the phones will spoil the children and i told him i said look i agree that phones can spoil children if you don't monitor them you need to monitor what they do on the phone monitor where we site they visit because the social media and the internet is so poor and there are so many things that are put on there all the time and you need to control so I agree with the woman but what the woman should have done not to collect the phone is to checkmate what these children are doing but like he said the woman is hardly around so what time will she have to checkmate this phone so that's a problem in itself and then he went on to say the woman has issues with her mother uh, his mother and almost everybody in, in his own family and the mother didn't give birth to him at a very young age you know now they picking with them born for old age the mother is 90 years old now and um she he is the first 
son of the first the only son of the woman and the, the woman gave birth to two children and he's the first and the other one is a woman and he said that so he want is wondering what why the wife cannot even get along with the woman the woman doesn't even live with her the woman lives in the village in benue state so that's also an issue for him he doesn't even know what to do and he said the woman always complain money is not enough money is not enough and he's doing his best as it is he's sending money for school fees he's sending money for upkeep that sometimes he will send everything he works for you know to the woman just to make sure things are okay but yeah the woman sometimes will not even pick his call and that when he does he so he does with a lot of attitudes, almost, almost like he hates him or something like that. And he wanted my opinion on what I think. So I said to him, number one, this woman might be acting up and might be angry because the last time you saw him was probably four or five years ago, according to you. And you know how it is when somebody gets married, and according to you, she's about 36, so she's still at um, an age where her hormones are still acting up maybe she's missing you maybe she's missing sex and sometimes when you're missing these things you can go crazy and you can start acting funny and maybe she wants out of the marriage but she doesn't know how to do it and so don't give her a reason to go manage and keep you know keep talking to her keep trying your best to pacify her let her know that you're doing the best that you can do let her know that she you can she should manage and that everything will be all right don't nag her don't fight her and i said for your mom and her that are not getting along some people just have this notion that all mother in laws are witches so when they get married to you even if your mother your your mother is nice the kindest woman in the world they just feel like oh this mother in law if i talk to her too much if i laugh with her too much she will kill my children or she will do this and do that and you know i have a problem with that because they forget that they too will be mother in laws one day this woman has three children and I Heard that the two, the three out of the two are boys. One day she too she will be mother-in-law. So they came with and say beat uh, yale day for corner. They go take beat yawo too. So let her be. As long as your mother is in the village and she's not disturbing them, she's ninety for Christ. What can a ninety years old woman do to anybody? Just let it be. But what I can advise is that no matter how small you can you must take care of your mom. The woman is already ninety years. She's already living bonus time. And any time from now, anything can happen. So take care of her so that the prayers and the blessings that come with taking care of your mother can abide by you. And also, uh, for the way that the woman went back to school and didn't tell you, forgive her. The deed has already been done. The fact that she didn't use your son name, your name as her son name, also forgive her. Because right now, it's a, it's a dicey situation. You're already having issues. By the time you bring up that one, it can trigger things that it's not supposed to trigger. So what I advise him is that if you talk from now to tomorrow, it will not change the certificate back to your name. It won't do anything. What you can do when you are back to Nigeria, when you are, your relationship is in a good place, you can make her understand that what she did was wrong so that she does not repeat it next time as long as she's bearing your name she's bearing you're putting your name in other things and it's only that part she didn't do which was wrong you talk to her when things are okay not now that things are already heated up between you guys and as for the children talk to her okay if you don't want these children to have the phone on them because you think that in social media can spoil them yes no problem but can you find time even if it's once or twice a week i would like to be talking to my children can you put them online for me let me talk to them at least once or twice you know i mean if you talk to her and beg her nicely like that i think that would be you know a better way to start and if she doesn't budge if she doesn't do that then you can find some people to talk to her but try that first you cannot you know give up when you haven't tried so we talked about that then the guy went on to say that he has a car in nigeria and um he begged the wife to give the car to one of the brothers because the wife has brothers and sisters that he should give it to one of his brothers to do uber for him and that the wife said no she cannot do that and that he doesn't know why at least that if that car was working for uber that that would also support the financial situation they are having and also ease him off the stress a little bit and i told him i said look um, nobody can take care of your thing like your own even if your wife has refused out of whatever maybe she doesn't care if you like bring money if you like make you no know, bring money that that's your wahala so she doesn't care um what i can advise you is even if the brother-in-law your brother-in-law is using that car how are you sure you'll be remitting money and even if you remit money the woman will still want you to keep bringing and keep bringing i think that is how she has decided to you know you know map out her own mind and everything i said so um what i can advise 
since you love your family so much and you don't want to lose them because the way you are sounding the way you are doing things for them you love this woman and you love your children and things are really not working abroad for you why not come back to nigeria use this car by yourself as taxi people are making money i know of uh, i have some friends who are doing car business and they are making money just driving these taxis you can imagine how much we spend on taxi any day i go out on taxi going and coming back alone i spent close to twelve thousand naira i'm telling you the fact because i live somewhere very far you know so um if you can do this business yourself before you know it you will build your house you will buy a better car you do so many things come back to nigeria that bring your family together so that it doesn't break because whether you like it or not one of the things that will make this woman be so touchy and upset is sex let's not even you know mix it unless she has started getting it out there if she has not started getting it out there she's still honoring and respecting this marriage then what this is one of the problems that she's having no matter how much you send to her even if you give her your arm and your leg she will still after spending the money she will still miss that sometimes there are things money cannot cover so i advised him in that way we in nigeria we are living in nigeria we are working here we are eating we are not dead we are here come and join us it's not easy yes but it's not easy anywhere it's not like you're picking money in on the ground there so you look at you you are still struggling what makes you think that if you all these years you've spent looking for papers here and there abroad you wouldn't have made it here in nigeria so my advice for him was to also come back to nigeria if he's missing his family too much and then he went on to say that um, he's been having high blood pressure and um, he's been back and front doctors and all of that and i told him i said look we in this world we have more widows than we have widowers and most of the times because of the pressure the few good men that we have are carrying a lot of pressure i mean look at all these things that this man has said he's doing for this woman she's still not appreciating it it's not like yes he's, he has left her for about four or five years abroad i know it's not easy let me not be a witch i know it's not easy but this man is not playing out there he has been trying his best to give she and the children a better life and he's sending all he can you know down to nigeria for her to make sure she's comfortable so i mean rather than make things so difficult for him can you not just even tell the man honey please the horse way you don't hustle don't do come back to nigeria i want you back she can actually ask ask that of the man and the man i'm sure can would come back because of the way he talks about his wife he loves her a lot so i told him i said look you need to no matter how much you earn in a month let's make an example with twenty thousand you must save 5,000 Naira for yourself, spend 10,000 towards your family, and spend 5,000 to, uh, 5, towards your immediate family, that is your, your wife and your children, and spend the remaining 5,000 towards your mom. Like I said, she's already using bonus time. And so make sure you save something for yourself. It's very important. Okay, the woman that is already behaving like this, she decides to leave you today. What are you going to fall back on? So, I mean, if you are an ungrateful person, you are an ungrateful person, even if they cut their head, she cut his head for her, she will never be satisfied. That is just it. That's what I can say. And I said, so now you're already having high blood pressure because of this issue. Come back to Nigeria and bring your family together and move on. Use the, the, the uh, car for the taxi and see how God will bless you. So for me, I always advise men, no matter how much you spend on your family, save something for the rainy day because... <clears throat> The day you know get again, the woman will leave you. That's the truth too. You are as cute as your pockets. The day you know have you don't have again, that woman will go. It's not very very few percent of women can stay when there is no money. I'm telling you the fact. Uh -huh. Money now they make love fine, now they make love sweet too. That's just the, the what I what I told him. So listen to his complaints and listen to the advice I gave him at every point. If I did justice to it let me know if i didn't and you have a better advice he's following me he would also watch this video and he'll pick from everything that you guys would have to comment in this video um like i said in summary you know the wife going to school with his, his uh, father's name is already past tense there's no need to bring it up and stay up issue let's not um, start dragging issue when you see that the woman is already tired and what you can do now is to try to bring her back and make her calm down so like i said drop your comments in the comment section below and um, he's going to read it i believe that whatever you write would also help in the advice i've already given i love you guys